Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Divock Origi plays for Lille in the Liga Earn. He's 6 foot tall, right footed, he's got a high medium work rate, a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands up to his 87 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 82 attack positioning, 81 shot power and 80 agility. We've also included all of his upgrades over his non-informed version as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat increase of all the stats. So you can always pause it if you want a closer look at any of his stats now. So this is the team we'll be using Inform Origi in. A 3-5-2 Belgian side with Origi at left striker. We also have of course Inform Benteke up there as well who we have also reviewed. So please check out the channel if you want to see the Inform Benteke review. So now on to the gameplay so you can see how Inform Origi performed. Now a massive bonus for me is actually position swap. Obviously you know he's gone from a left wing up to a striker now. Thankfully he was playing striker for Lille when he bagged his hat trick. Uh, first shine signs of promise for Lille. He has been pretty poor for Lille this season. And he does make a great striker with his pace. He's got 87 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. And he is actually does feel fast in game. A lot of the time his strikers do feel a bit sluggish. Origi did actually feel fast. He was always torturing the defence with his pace. He regularly outstripped defenders, actually groups of defenders as well, straight through to get through on goal. So great pace on Origi. Also did manage to hold off a few defenders as well. And he does have, I think it's 74, uh, 74 strength, sorry. So he did prove pretty useful, having a decent amount of strength on him as well. Now his dribbling and agility are good as well. So he does feel good on the ball when he's dribbling, able to get round those defenders. His balance is poor, but it doesn't really come into effect. It doesn't really affect his dribbling too much. It does only have three star skill, but this is fine. You've always got the roulette to throw in. And he has had a big boost shooting wise, plus eight on his card. And he is pretty proficient in front of goal, I've got to say. He does use his great pace to break free from the defenders and he did manage to get plenty of one-on-ones with the keeper which he didn't disappoint, he did actually tuck it round the keeper and actually a few were with his weaker left foot as well does only have a three star weak foot and we didn't have any problems with his weak foot at all so shouldn't be too, too concerned with that three star weak foot and despite his low jumping and heading still managed to help himself to two headed goals including the decent header from the middle of the box so it isn't suggesting it has poor heading at all does have some decent heading before despite his stats maybe just because we were lucky does have good attack positioning to get into some good positions does have high attacking work rate as well which is great on a striker but he does have poor stamina i think it's only 60 stamina so if you do love to sprint everywhere with your striker if you love to track back with your striker he is going to be getting tired if you're sprinting up and down the pitch with him best leave him up top leave him alone so let's look at info Origi's performance stats so in six games he's scored eight goals and got three assists all his stats are on the left goals are on the right position map shows you where the goals are scored and assists were created as well so overall we're giving Origi a great 8.5 out of 10 now he does make a great striker coming from the left wing as his great pace and decent dribbling does also have a decent finish on him as well as you see in the clips he was slotting it around the keeper on one, on his one on ones was partnered with Inform Benteke who obviously it did steal the show over Origi but he did make a great partner for Benteke to be honest with his pace did cause defences a lot of problems with his pace and his finishing as you said wasn't too bad plus his big plus obviously is his position swap to a striker makes him a better play at striker in my opinion price band is 20 to 50k as well so finally we're just going to leave you with inform Origi's positives and negatives for you to look at so Origi is recommended and great for a Belgian team like we used does make a great partnership with inform Benteke up top two beast informs up top great for a league earn team as well if you want to slot him in there so thanks a lot for watching hopefully you did enjoy this review if you did please leave a like it does help out a lot try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can loads more on our channel as well loads more to come so stay tuned for them thanks a lot for watching cheers lads and peace